Hi friends. Welcome to my channel for Medicos. In this video, I am going to give an overview of ICH the International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use. This is an important topic for person undergoing interview pharmacovigilance, clinical trials, BABE studies or pharma industry. Before starting, I will request you to subscribe, share and hit the bell icon for more such videos. What is ICH? The full form of ICH is, the International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use. ICH is a project that brings together the regulatory authorities of Europe, Japan, and the United States and experts from the pharmaceutical industry in the three regions to discuss scientific and technical aspects of pharmaceutical product registration. What is the purpose of ICH? The purpose of ICH is to reduce or eliminate the need to duplicate the testing carried out during the research and development of new medicines by recommending ways to achieve greater harmonization in the interpretation and application of technical guidelines and requirements for product registration. Why harmonization is needed? Harmonization would lead to a more economical use of human, non-human animal and material resources, and the elimination of unnecessary delay in the global development and availability of new medicines while maintaining safeguards on quality, safety, and efficacy, and regulatory obligations to protect public health. History of ICH In the 1980s, the European Union began harmonizing regulatory requirements. In 1989, Europe, Japan, and the United States began creating plans for harmonization. International Council of Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Registration of Pharmaceuticals for Human Use ICH, was created in April 1990 at a meeting in Brussels. In 2015, International Conference on Harmonization changed its name to the International Council for Harmonization while becoming a legal entity in Switzerland. On October 23, 2015 ICH conducted the initial meeting of their new assembly. Structure of ICH The ICH has four major parts. ICH Steering Committee ICH Coordinators ICH Secretariat and ICH Working Groups The Steering Committee, made of six H parties, governs the ICH, determining the policies and procedures, selecting topics for harmonization and monitoring progress of harmonization initiatives. The ICH coordinators represents each ICH party to the ICH secretariat on a day-to-day -day basis. The ICH secretariat is primarily concerned with preparations for, and documentation of, meetings of the steering committee as well as coordination of preparations for working group. EWG, Expert Working Group, IWG, Implementation Working Group, Informal WG, and Discussion Group Meetings. The ITCH Working Groups are created by the Steering Committee when a new topic is accepted for harmonization, and is charged with developing a harmonized guideline that meets the objectives outlined in the concept paper and business plan. Face-to-face -face meetings of the expert working group will normally only take place during the biannual steering committee meetings. Interim reports are made at each meeting of the steering committee. The ICH steering committee consists of European Commission European Federation of Pharmaceutical Industries and Associations, EFPIA Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare, Japan MHLW Japan Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association JPMA Food and Drug Administration FDA Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America PHRMA ICH guidelines The ICH topics are divided into four categories and ICH topic codes are assigned according to these categories Q Quality Guidelines It include pivotal milestones such as the conduct of stability studies, 
defining relevant thresholds for impurities testing and a more flexible approach to pharmaceutical quality based on good manufacturing practice, GMP, risk management. E. Efficacy Guidelines The work carried out by ICH under the efficacy heading is concerned with the design, conduct, safety and reporting of clinical trials. It also covers novel types of medicines derived from biotechnological processes and the use of pharmacogenetics or genomics techniques to produce better targeted medicines. S. Safety Guidelines ICH has produced a comprehensive set of safety guidelines to uncover potential risks like carcinogenicity, genotoxicity, and reprotoxicity. M. Multidisciplinary Guidelines those are the cross-cutting topics which do not fit uniquely into one of the quality, safety, and efficacy categories. It includes the ICH medical terminology, MEDDRA, the common technical document, CTD, and the development of electronic standards for the transfer of regulatory information, ESTRI. E2 guidelines which focus mainly on pharmacovigilance are further divided in following eight subcategories. E2A. Clinical Safety Data Management, Definitions and Standards for Expedited Reporting. E2B, R3. Clinical Safety Data Management, Data Elements for Transmission of Individual Case Safety Reports. E2B, R3, Questions and Answers. Implementation, Electronic Transmission of Individual Case Safety Reports E2C, R2 Periodic Benefit Risk Evaluation Report E2C, R2, Questions and Answers Periodic Benefit Risk Evaluation Report E2D Post-Approval Safety Data Management, Definitions and Standards for Expedited Reporting E2E. Pharmacovigilance Planning. E2F. Development Safety Update Report. Some other important guidelines are. Q7. Good Manufacturing Practice. E2A to E2F. Pharmacovigilance. E6. Good Clinical Practice. S1A to S1C. Carcinogenicity Studies. S2. Genotoxicity Studies. S6. Biotechnological Products. S7A to S7B. Pharmacology Studies. S8. Immunotoxicology Studies. M1. MedDRA Terminology. M2. Electronic Standards. M4. Common Technical Document M6 Gene Therapy M8 Electronic Common Technical Document ECTD Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe.